Welcome to another episode of Optic Straight Debates. My name is Taylor. Hi, I'm Masha. And today, Masha, we're going to talk about a really common question uh, which we get so often. Which binoculars to buy for astronomy, mm -hmm. for stargazing and so on? Uh, we see that stargazing with binoculars is quite popular, not as much as birding or hunting, yeah. but still is becoming more and more popular. So it's quite common that people send us questions, what should I buy? And we, did, we will not go into specific models into this video, in this video, but more into some general features yeah. of the binoculars, which are suitable for... Uh, what for you the, should look for uh, yeah. when buying. So we should start probably with magnification. Yeah, let's start with magnification. So here is basically the highest, the better. Yeah. It starts, you should look for binoculars at around eight power magnification and up. Yeah. So we have 10 power, 12 power, even 20 power. So mm. these are all, all I mean, usable. Yeah. yeah. The higher is the better. Yeah. Even though what it is true with, let's say, eight time magnification, you're able to use it also for other purposes, yeah. for yeah. outdoor use, for birding, for hunting and so on. Yeah. If you buy a binoculars with 20 times magnification, it's or 16 times magnification is only for stargazing. For, yeah, for astronomy. For so, astronomy. Uh, what about a lens diameter? Again, the bigger, the better, mm -hmm. because in, in, for astronomy and in, when you look at the sky at night, there is not a lot of light. So you need biggest lens possible yeah. so that you get at least some light so that you see the image. Uh, I would say not under 42 and you go with a, let's say, uh, hold on, this is not a, let's say 10 times by 40, 44, like this one, or yeah. 10 times 42, like that one mm -hmm. there. You go, if you <clears throat> wish to use it also, let's say for birding or for outdoor activities, not only astronomy. Yeah. If you're buying a binoculars only for astronomy, 15 by 56, 16 by 70, mm -hmm. we don't have it here. You go for something really, really big uh, in this uh, class because the biggest lens you're able to buy, the more light you will the get. brighter image, yeah. What about prisms? Yeah, so here it comes all down to brighter image. So yeah. we recommend Poro prisms binoculars like these ones, uh, which gather the most light. You can also use roof prism binoculars, uh, Abekunik, Abekunik, like one, yeah, right? uh, these are more bright than Schmidt Packen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, brighter. Uh, it's also, if we look at astronomy binoculars, those which are really famous like Fujinon or Nikon, they have like 16 by 70 yeah. and they're usually poor prism yeah. binoculars, yeah? yeah. Which um, brings us to size and weight. Yeah, then. what? <laughs> I already wanted to ask you when we talked about the magnification, Handheld use, which is again connected with size and weight. Yeah. Um, At what magnification you're not able to use it handheld anymore? I think 10, 12, the top magnification that you can, because yeah. the image is so shaky, it can be, I mean, your hands could get tired after five minutes. Yeah. So it's recommended for binoculars to be a tripod adaptable. So you can, it's a must, yeah. Yeah, if you're having a magnification 20 power, it's it's a must. Yeah, it's impossible to use yeah. them handheld. And again, if you go back to size and weight, majority of binoculars for astronomy are big and heavy. Yeah. Uh, because you have really big uh, objective, objective lenses, yeah. you have big magnifications, yeah. they're heavy and so on. Yeah. And I think one thing we should also mention is antifocus coatings. This is something what <clears throat> is rarely mentioned in this. Uh, yeah. Um, in any blogs you read around the internet, nobody, when writing about astronomy, binoculars for astronomy, writes about anti fogging um, coatings on the lenses. Yes, uh, because you you watch, uh, you observe the stars uh, in the nighttime, obviously, yeah. uh, and when it's colder, you get. Uh, the sky is better to, how would I say? Um, for this time of, yeah. for this type of use of the binoculars, yeah. yeah uh, In so winter skies are probably the best. The best, yeah, the more the most clear. Yeah. So uh, when you're observing and you're breathing, the lenses, uh, the eyepieces uh, can fog up. Yeah, so on the external surface. The external yeah. surface, yeah. So it's recommended for those uh, lenses to be coated with uh, coatings that prevent this or yeah, maybe to lower the to lower the fogging yeah. effect. 
uh, these are from, I mean, all uh, premium manufacturers do this. I mm. think Swarovski has Swar Swardur, yeah, I think, yeah. Leica has um, Aquadura, yeah. and uh, so I think it's, it's a, a lot great... of tech by its size. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think it's... I think it's suitable for uh, astronomy uh, binoculars to have these coatings. I think this is the topic which is mostly overlooked yeah. when we speak about astronomy, but it's really important. Yeah. It, let's say you go out to see the stars, uh, to watch the stars with the binoculars in winter, at night. Yeah. You put them on, you start breathing, your yeah. uh, warm breath goes up and then it fogs yeah. on the eyepieces. And you can see a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad that we covered this topic because I think it's important. So yeah. if we say something about focusing, yeah. most of the stars are always really, really far. Yeah. So all these binoculars, when you start using them for astronomy, you put them on infinity. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if they have a, a focus, a central focusing like here or if they have focusing for each eye separated. Uh, yeah. You just put them on infinity and that's it. So you, if you're using binoculars only for astronomy, you just set them once and that's, that's it. That's it, yeah. And also uh, we have a separate video about the differences f in focusing for hunting binoculars and bird watching binoculars yeah. for astronomy. This doesn't apply because you just put them on an infi uh, infinite setting and that's yeah. it. Okay. I think we covered everything. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, important for you to know that we recommend to for you to buy once and buy good because yeah. it's important for binoculars to have like we said anti-fogging uh, mm -hmm. coatings to have um, good quality prisms and lens uh, yeah so it's because especially when you're looking at stars you have all possible aberrations you have chromatic yeah. aberration you have chromatic aberration and so on and all of these errors of image are far less noticeable with a high quality yeah. binoculars. So you buy once, you cry once, yeah. but you have a really good uh, experience and really good image with them. Yeah. And this would be yeah, would that's say, it. the most important thing yeah. in this video. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.